Hey class, so for this assignment, we are going to be modeling a spaceship. We're gonna create our project and then block out our basic shapes. So let's get started. First, we wanna to go to File and Create a Project. So let's go to our Project window. And here is where you're going to store all of your files. So we can change our project name. So you have to like click on the folder and then change your project name and then change its location. So I'm just going to set it in my Intro to 3D Modeling folder, but you can place it anywhere you like that's convenient. And then it's going to create all of these subfolders within this folder. So I'm gonna hit Accept, and it just created all those. But we also need to set our project. So that's step two. Go to File, Set Project, and find the folders that you just created and just hit set. There we go. And now we might as well save our file. So go to file and save scene as, and let's give it a descriptive name. You can include your name or initials, and you can see that this file is being saved directly into the scenes folder within your project. And then when we create textures, um, those will be saved in the textures folder later. Okay. So now we can get started with our modeling. I'm going to be using a reference image for this folder or for this project. So let's go to our different four panel view. I'm going to be creating a reference image in the top view, but if you have a reference image that goes in the front or the side, that works too. So you go to the view menu, import image. Let's try that one more time. View, import image and you're going to find your um, image or your sketch of your concept art and hit open. This concept art image will be just like any object in your scene that you can scale, move, and rotate. So I'm just gonna use my shortcuts for that. And what I'm trying to do is center my object so that it lines up over that origin line so I can use symmetry to make both sides the same. And you can see that my sketch isn't exactly symmetrical, so I'll need to use my artistic judgment on which side is closer to the side that I would like to use. Okay, I'm also creating a layer to put my reference image on, so um, that's in the channel box layer editor, and I can select it as a reference here. And that means that this layer cannot be touched while it's set to reference. So let's just zoom in on our layer preferences here. So you can see that there's three columns. The first column is visibility. The second, the P, is printing. And then the third is whether it's a reference or not. So that little R. So you can use these settings to um, make your layers more visible or not, or to adjust your layers. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a new layer. And on this new layer, I'm gonna put my new geometry for my block out. So I'll go to create new layer and with it active, I can now go to create my geometry. So my cube for my model. And for this cube, I'm just gonna be scaling it up and I'm actually gonna use this single cube and uh, my multi-cut tool and a bunch of extrusions and I'll be able to make my entire uh, model. I'm gonna turn on symmetry in that drop-down box and then grab my multi-cut tool. Now remember you can adjust your snap steps, so I'm gonna have a cut right in the middle at 50%. So if you hold down control, it makes a cut all the way around your model, and if you hold down shift, it will make a cut that snaps to the snap step. So I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift and click, and then I'm gonna make an additional cut um, horizontally as well. All right, so now you'll notice that I have symmetry turned on, and when I click and drag around um, my vertices on either side, um, I can adjust both sides of my model equally at once. So that's what I'm doing here is just clicking and dragging to make sure that I have both the top and the bottom vertices because this is a three-dimensional cube. So there's two 
um, vertices at least sitting on top of each other. So if I don't click and drag, and if instead I just click on one vertice, it's not going to move my model equally. All right, so I'm also gonna scale this and then just move it up so that I can see all of my model um, so I can do some extrusions. Now I'm just gonna select the faces and when I extrude, so that's Command E, I can also rotate those faces so they look a little more like my, um, my ship. And then do another extrusion and drag those faces out. And I can also change to scale and scale those down. And then just switch back to the move tool. So <clears throat> I really do use my move, scale, and rotate tools constantly. Um, so I have one hand on that Q, W, E, R um, keyboard. All right, so for the back, I'm just trying to make a engine compartment type situation. So I'm extruding once and using extrude offset and then extruding again and extruding out. So remember, first one is extrude offset. The second one is extrude out. And then I can just um, pull those pieces into place, scale them down and rotate. So it's amazing what you can do once you start extruding. And then also just selecting individual faces and scaling down. So I have the basics of this shape. Now I can add one more kind of extrusion. You can see there's like a little inset part. So I'm gonna select these faces on just the outside. Extrude offset so that extrudes it in and then extrude one more time and that actually kind of like scales it down. So that's creating that nice little offset. And then the last thing I want is kind of an extrusion for the cockpit. So again, extrude once for the offset, extrude once up, and then scale these pieces down. So it's a little bulky and blocky right now, but you can see this is the basis for a spaceship. And now I can just go in and make some final adjustments. So I'm gonna do one more, I think extrude and extrude offset to create some kind of, um, kind of rocket panels in the front. But otherwise that's a pretty good block out. So what I want you to do is create the basic shapes of your block out. Don't go into any beveling or any specific detail, um, but get the main focus and the overall silhouette. And then we'll come back in the next video and we'll talk about um, refinements and adding holding edges. All right, good luck and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks class.